نحمد هو نصلي على رسوله الكريم اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم فما لكم في المنافقين فيتين والله اركسهم بما كسبوا اتريدون ان تهدوا من اضل الله ومن يضل الله فلن تجد له سبيلا ودوا لو تكفرون كما كفروا فتكونون سواء فلا تتخذوا منهم اولياء حتى يهاجروا في سبيل الله فان تولوا فخذوهم واقتلوهم حيث وجدتموهم ولا تتخذوا منهم وليا ولا نصيرا صدق الله العظيم as i told you before three subjects were very important regarding the conduct of the munafiqeen number 1 the total obedience to muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam fala wa rabbika la yu'minuna hatta yuhakkimuka fi ma shajara bainahum thumma la yajidu min arfi anfusihim harajan mimma qadayta wa yusallimu taslima total obedience number 2 qital fi sabilillah because there was risk for life and loss of wealth also because you know everybody who went for fighting in the way of allah he had his own conveyance and his own rations it was not an organized army like we have today the supply lines are there and so on and all the conveyances you know the it belongs to the government nothing of the sort so it was risk for life risk for money and wealth also and belongings also and the third subject now begins and that is of hijra as i told you hijra immigration to madina for all mu'mins was declared to be necessary obligatory why the wisdom behind because after hijra the revolutionary struggle of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam had entered its fifth phase what is the fifth phase number 1 dawa number 2 organization number 3 training number 4 passive resistance no retaliation taking all persecution without any retaliation and now it was to be the fifth stage and that is of active resistance challenging the system challenging the quraish because they were the aimat al kufr as they are called in surah at tauba they were aimat al kufr so now for that purpose it was necessary and, and absolutely logical that all the force available should gather at one point so that that base you know is strong enough and from that base an offensive can be launched hence it was made compulsory every momin wherever he is whether he is at makka or at any other place in the whole of the arabian peninsula because the arabian peninsula had a few cities only just as makka and taif and madina and a few more all the rest it was bedouins arab areas were divided between qabail between the between the different tribes and they were wandering over there you know if there is some rain and there is some greenery here they are staying here today again because it is all finished then they moved to some other place wherever he they were they were forced and they were obliged to come to madina now this again became a very big testing for the for those people regarding their iman to leaving their homes and hearts while there was nothing for there which was disturbing them at makkah muslims were being persecuted but there were most bombings in different tribes and there is there was no conflict and they were not persecuting them now without any persecution to leave the homes and hearts it is not an easy job and the land you know which is very beloved to every person where he has lived where he was born where his ancestors are and buried so this is again a very tough point and it was said already because in the end of surah al-anfal because surah al-anfal was revealed much before this surah surah al-anfal was revealed in the second year after hijra just after the battle of badr and the period of the revelation of surah an-nisa is starting from the fourth year after hijra till the sixth year different passages were revealed at different times during these three years So in Surah Al-Anfal we find the divine wordings, "Ma lakum min walayatihim min shayin hatta yuhajiru." If these Muslims if they don't migrate, if they don't make hijrah, 
they don't leave their homes and house and come over to Medina, then you have no relationship with them. Oh, moments. Now, this was a very harsh and very tough, you know, commandment. Now, there were people who had come to Medina from Quraysh, and there were their brethren, and they knew he has also embraced Islam. Only he is not making hijrah. But now Quran says, min min You have no connection with them now. No relationship. All relations broken. So this, this is the problem. And this was the problem faced not by the Badi Munafiqeen of Medina, but the Munafiqeen elsewhere. Because Munafiqeen of Medina had to stay in Medina. This test, you know, they, they didn't have to pass through. So actually that was for the, 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 a very big test for other people. For other people who embraced Islam, who accept the faith, but they didn't immigrate to Medina. And about them, you know, the Muslims were now differing. By what, what has happened? If he is, has not been able to immigrate even, then he is a Muslim. He has embraced Islam. He, he says Shahada. He testifies, Ashhadu Allah, ilaha illallah, Ashhadu Allah, Muhammad Rasulullah. Only if he has not migrated, our relations are broken. Why? He is my brother also. He belongs to my same tribe. And he has accepted Islam. Now, Allah says, مَا لَكُمْ مِنْ وَلَيَتِمْ مِنْ شَيْطَى يُحَاجِرُ So there was a difference of opinion among Muslims. And with this, you know, this passage is now beginning. فَمَا لَكُمْ فِي الْمُنَافِقِينَ فِيَتَيْنَ What is with you? What has happened to you, O Muslims? You have become two parties regarding these munafiqeen. Those munafiqeen who have not made hijrah, who had preferred their ancestral places and homes to hijrah. مَا لَكُمْ فِي الْمُنَافِقِينَ فِيَتَيْنَ وَاللَّهُ أَرْكَسَهُمْ بِمَا كَسَبُوا Allah has sent them back, overturned them, reverted them. After Iman, they have gone back to Kufr. Why? Because they have not, they have not complied with the divine ordinance that you have to immigrate to Medina. بِمَا كَسَبُوا Due to their own deeds. Very beautiful way. Do you want to lead and guide to the right path the one whom Allah has already declared as having gone astray? Allah declares if they have not migrated, if they have not left their homes and hearts and, and families, and they have preferred remaining over there and not coming over to Medina. Actually, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has already declared them that they have gone back. Now, you want to, to guide them? Whomsoever Allah has declared as have gone astray, you won't find for him any way of coming back and coming to the truth and coming to the true path. They want that you should also be, become disbelievers like them. They might be saying, oh, you also come back to Makkah. Only we believe in Quran, we believe in Muhammad, we, we are praying, we are saying something. Why is it necessary that we go and leave our homes and go to Medina? You read, they want that you should also become the same. And you should also take to the same path. So that you become at par with them. فَلَا تَتَّخِذُوا مِنْهُمْ أَوْلِيَا Don't make friends with them. حَتَّى يُحَاجِرُوا فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ Until they make hijrah. They migrate to Medina in the way of Allah. This is فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ As I told you, for jihad فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ It is necessary that all the available sources and resources, whether men or, or material, they should be gathered at one base. Now it is essential. So they had to come, and they have to come, if they are true moments. Don't take, make them friends. Don't take, take them as friends. Until they immigrate in the way of Allah. And if they turn their backs, Seize them, kill them, slay them. Wherever you find them. وَلَا تَتَّخِذُوا مِنُمْ وَلِيَمْ وَلَا نَصِيرًا And don't make them your protectors or your helpers. Now what's the background of this ayah? Because we have to understand the background. Because Arabian society was basically tribal. 
Now a tribe as a whole is kafir. There are a few Muslims there. They have embraced Islam, accepted the faith, but they have not migrated. They are with the Kabila. When there is an expedition against that kafir Kabila, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi has sent an army against that Kabila, that kafir, that kafir Kabila, that unbeliever tribe. Now these people are also with the with with those kafirs. So they cannot plead that because we are Muslims, don't attack us. No, because you didn't migrate, you remain with your kafir Kabila. You will also take have the same fate as this kuffar. So don't spare them. Because they, if they have not migrated, they are with their tribes. Al Maro Ma Man And this is the rule. A man will be counted with those whom he loves. He loves his tribe, not Islam, not Muhammad. Actually, then what does it mean? He will meet the same fate as the other people of his tribe. فَخُذُوهُمْ وَقْتُلُوهُمْ حَيْسُ وَجَدْتُبُوهُمْ Wherever you find وَلَا تَتَّخِذُ مِنْهُمْ وَلِيًّا وَلَا نَصِيرًا إِلَّا الَّذِينَ يَسِلُونَ إِلَىٰ قَوْمٍ بَيْنَكُمْ وَبَيْنَهُمْ مِسَاقٌ But there is one exception. Except those who have joined, who have friendship and treaties with that Kabila, with that nation, between you and them, there is a treaty. If that Kabila or those people have a treaty with a, with a, with a uh, tribe with whom you have a treaty, then you know they are also covered by the terms of that treaty. Or Jawukum, and number two, or the, uh, the other ex exception is, if they come to you, Hasirat Suduruhum, their chests shrink, Ayyukatilukum, they don't want to fight you also, and they don't want to fight their own tribe, their own nation also. They want to be non-aligned. They want to be, so they are not fighting you, against you, along with that tribe. Although they are not fighting with you against their own tribe. But if they want to they remain neutral, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made them also an exception. Don't kill them. وَلَوْ شَاءَ اللَّهُ لَسَلَّتَهُمْ عَلَيْكُمْ If Allah had so wished, He would have given them power over you. فَقَاتَلُوا فَلَقَاتَلُوكُمْ And they would have fought you side by side with their own tribe. They might have fought against you, O Muslims. فَإِنِ اَتَزَلَوْكُمْ So if they are withdrawing from you, فَلَمْ يُقَاتِلُوكُمْ And they are not fighting against you. وَأَلْقَوْا إِلَيْكُمُ السَّلَمَةً And they are presenting to you the peace. فَمَا جَعَلَ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ عَلَيْهِمْ سَبِيلًا For such persons Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you no way, assigns no, no, no way against them. Now you can't have any step against them because they belong to a tribe with whom you have a treaty. Number two, or because they have come to you and they declare that they will neither take the side of their tribe nor they will take the side with you. Neither fight you against you with their tribe nor they are ready to fight against their tribes along with you. So now spare them. This is the second exception. But here is again another exception to this exception. What is that? Satajaduna akhareen. You will find in, in another group also. Yuriduna an yamanukum wa yamanu qawmahum. They want to be in peace from you also and from their own tribe also. They want peace. They don't want to fight. They don't want to take sides. They declare that we are neutral. In the same way as in the previous ayah. But, كُلَّمَا رُدُّوا إِلَى الْفِتْنَةِ أُرْكُسِيُّ فِيهَا Whenever there is some temptation, when they see that our tribe is strong, and this tribe is sure to win against the army sent by Muhammad ﷺ, then they take the side of their, their tribe, so that they can also gain from the victory, they can, they can also gain from the, the booty, كُلَّمَا رُدُّوا إِلَى الْفِتْنَةِ أُرْكِسُوا فِيهَا Whenever there is a testing and temptation, then they go back on their, and on their promise. فَإِنْ لَمْ يَعْتَدُلُوكُمْ Now if they are not withdrawing from you, if they are not sparing you, وَيَلْقُوا إِلَيْكُمُ السَّلَمَةِ And they are not presenting peace to you. وَيَكُفُوا أَدِيَهُمْ And they are not holding back their hands from you. فَخُزُوهُمْ Now you seize them, وَقْتُلُوهُمْ And kill them. 
ہے سو ثقف تو بوہم ویر ایور یو فائنڈ دیم واولا ایک جالنا لکم علیہم سلطان مبینا اینڈ اگینسٹ سچ پیپل وی ہیو گیون یو اے کلیئر مینڈیٹ یو کین گو اگینسٹ دیم دیز تھنگس کوڈنٹ بی انڈرسٹوڈ ان لیس یو نو یو نو دی اسٹرگل گوئنگ آن بٹوین اسلام اینڈ کفر محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم از کمپینینز آن ون سائڈ اینڈ دیز کفار آن دی ادر بٹ دیر واز سم انٹر منگلنگ بیکاز ان دیٹ ٹرائب mainly the tribe is kafir but a few muslims are there so there is a complication so these problems had to be solved for the muslims what to do well that person is a muslim but he is along with his tribe he is fighting us should i spare him no don't spare him kill him if he has come to the fight against you along with the uh, with the tribe to which he belongs so these things are to be given in detail and allah subhanahu wa taala has made everything clear